Hi everyone, this is Grace of GB Maltese and today is Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2020 and as some of you know, I lost my brother Daryl last year on December 24th, 2019, Christmas Eve at 11.25 at night and I thought I did this, some of you saw me work on this beautiful custom of him this was made by Rachel of Treasure Studios Art. She did a fantastic job on it. And I thought I would do this kind of as a memorial for my brother since it has been one year. And I've been thinking about him a lot. And those of you who have lost a loved one this year or even several years ago, the holidays can be a really rough time. And I wanted to do this to just kind of work through, uh, spend a little time with Daryl here. Um, I've been spending time with him in my mind, of course. Uh, he, he was a wonderful brother. Loved him so much. We did so much talking in the last few weeks of his life. Um, he died of lung cancer. And um, I'm going to frame this. I want to show you also this little, it's a little lap blanket. When... I visited with Daryl. I worked on this. I'd sit with him on, next to him on the bed and I crocheted. I couldn't very well diamond paint in the bed with him. And I did not complete it. I had wanted to give this to him, but he passed away before that time came. I had over half of it done and I didn't take this out again until this past November and decided to finish it. And I finished it off with some faux fur on the edges. And I am going to use this kind of as a little cloth to do my framing. It just means, this means a lot to me because I was talking to him and we were just enjoying each other's company. We talked about everything. So, here he is on the cloth that I did. He loved touching the material and uh, he loved the colors. So, I finally finished it and I can cuddle in my, my blanket and have lots of thoughts about him and remember the times we had talking. So, what I have done is I have already taken this cardboard that comes with the frame and I have attached Daryl's picture to that cardboard piece. I also put black duct tape around the edges just to make sure nothing showed through. I didn't want the cardboard showing through. So I did that around all four edges. This is the tape I used to tape the diamond painting down. And I do have this in my Amazon store just in case you're interested in looking for it. It's just easier for me to put it in the store for you to find it. Uh, this works great. I've done a lot of paintings that way. I've had people ask me what kind of scissors I use to cut <clears throat> excuse me, the white edges. This is what I use. These are Fiskars. And they are very sharp, and they cut very nicely. So, this is ready to go in the frame. It took me months to decide on the frame I wanted to use. <clears throat> and this is the one I picked out. I'll let you see it a little bit better in a moment. I'm going to turn this over. I will put a link to this frame in my Amazon store if anyone's interested in this. This diamond painting, what I do is I measure it by inches and the diamond painting was 18 by 24 inches. So I looked for a frame that was 18 by 24 inches, the, um, the opening part of course, because that's the part that matters. So, let's get that in there. I use a butter knife to help me push those little pieces down and to help 
get this pressed on in here. Okay, I'm going to put a couple of these down so I can look and see. Oh, you know what I did? What I didn't do, I forgot to put my... This also comes with an acrylic piece to cover the picture so it, the drills, nothing happens to the drills. And there is plastic on both sides. So we're going to pull that off. I purchased a lot of my frames, in fact most of them, off of Amazon. I find good prices. I like the Craig frames very well. And that's what this is. So, got to get that down in there. Then we'll put the picture. There we are. Okay, now. Let's put my beautiful Daryl in there. Just work it around. Take your time. Oops. This piece got stuck on this little tab here so it didn't go down. Let's see if we can get it on in there. Come on. Go on down. There we are. Coax it on down in there. Okay, now. Now we can start pushing these little pieces down. I tried to pick a frame that I thought would go kind of with the colors that are in the picture. And that just takes time on your part to decide what, what makes you happy. What, what do you like? Okay. We're finished framing. Let's look at it. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. <gasps> it's beautiful. Oh, Daryl. I love it. Oh, my God. I love this. This frame is perfect for this picture. Look up, down. It is beautiful. It's a wooden frame with copper and black, and I thought it would pick up these colors in his uniform, and I think it. I think it looks. I love this. This is going to go to my brother's widow. I have another one of his pictures that I'm going to do. There we are. Oh, fuck. <gasps> Dear girl. Just, it's beautiful. I love it. I just love it. Tell me what you think down below. I think it came out so lovely. I miss him very much. I do know he's not suffering any longer. He's in no more pain. And one day I will see him again. I know I will see him again. And he'll be there. <laughs> look at that. He had the most beautiful blue eyes. Just look at that picture. I think the frame does it justice. And as you can see, you can see the shine of the drills. This is an acrylic. Do not get non-glare. If you get non-glare, it will take the shine away. I've seen people who have used it and it did not it did not do well. But I love it. I just love it. And um, I 
hope you don't mind. I'm going to sing a song. Um, this is a song that brings me comfort. I know Daryl is no longer hurting. He's with other family members that I've lost. The ones of us left behind are the ones who really are sad. But I'm going to try to sing this. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to come out. I'm singing it at acapella. But, and I have not warmed up or done anything. But you know what? To me, it's the thought that counts. And it's one that I like to sing for comfort. His Eye is on the Sparrow, if you've ever heard that song. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven? And home when Jesus is my portion, my constant friend is he, his eyes on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. His eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. And I sing because I'm happy. And I sing because I'm free, for his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. And he watches you too. God bless all of you. Love you guys. Bye.